related party and connected person this is the one of the major impact areas if i say if i see ue related parties will as a general understanding what we report in a financial statement more or less the same group companies holding subsidiary parent subsidiary or a step down subsidiary or any entity where there is a control also exercised directly or indirectly they are also considered as a related parties each and every transaction with related party needs to be compliant with transfer pricing what is transfer pricing is basically what if you do the same transaction with a third party how much should be the transaction value let me tell you based on my experience this is one of the lit most litigious area in the entire world transfer pricing group like i mentioned about the related party transaction you don't have any control in the system when you are billing to a related party group company or you are you know, getting invoice from the related party are you having any control in place how the transactions are recorded or not the organizations have a system in place where they have a soft copies available but if the soft copies are not being maintained one of the control places could be as in when the transactions are happening we record soft copies there so for easy retrieval in the future you can trace it even if the ift is asking you to give those copies after 4 or 5 years each and every transaction with the related party needs to be tested so that transfer pricing compliant or not there is a detailed study which needs to be taken to be prepared one of the important point in transfer pricing is they are saying your opening balances on 1st jan 2024 should be compliant with transfer pricing <clears throat> in case you are already having some transaction with related parties those should be compliant with transfer pricing it cannot be implemented unless we do the transfer pricing right now we assess the impact and take the impact on 1st jan 2024 so that's why it's important